You can buy it raw or roast it yourself. Or you can buy it already cured and smoked. You can buy your ham boneless or with the bone still intact. Bone-in ham has more flavor because processing doesn't disturb the natural muscle, fat, and bones. Thousands of hams arrive at the factory, fresh from the slaughterhouse. The factory's automated sorting system weighs each ham, then knocks it into the designated vat. By grouping hams of similar size together, the factory can better control the quality of the curing and cooking process. Each vat empties into a tumbler. The machine spins the hams for about five minutes, loosening the skin from the meat. Tumbling makes this next step easier. Using specialized trimming tools, workers cut off the skin. They use an automatic trimming machine to skin the back portion, called the butt. In keeping with traditional style, the machine leaves just a small amount of skin on the thin part of the leg, called the shank. Now the circular wizard knife does its magic. They run it across the butt to remove all but a centimeter of fat. Finally, they chop off the base of the almost meatless shank, called the hawk. Other workers prepare the curing solution, water, sugar, salt, and other ingredients that are a company secret. This recipe produces that trademark ham flavor and pink color. Without it, the meat would come out tasting like a pork roast. Pipes feed the solution to an injection machine that's equipped with 138 needles. As the hams pass underneath, the needles inject curing solution. This ensures the cure penetrates thoroughly and evenly. All that piercing also tenderizes the meat. Next, workers load a machine called the stuffing horn. Like a cannon, it fires each ham into a heat-resistant cotton net. Workers close each one with an aluminum clip, then cut off the excess. Cooking hams on trays would flatten the underside, so workers hang them by the nets to keep them nice and round. They move the cooking racks into a food processing oven, the industrial equivalent of a traditional smokehouse. They pour hickory wood chips into the oven's smoker and start her up. For the next 12 hours, the hams slow cook at temperatures ranging between 65 and 82 degrees Celsius. This tenderizes the meat and gives the smoke ample time to seep in. After cooking, workers shower the hams in cold water for 10 minutes. This rinses away drippings falling from higher hams onto lower ones. Then it's onto the chill area, where over the next 36 hours, the hams cool to minus two degrees Celsius. The nets come off and packaging begins. The factory sells hams whole or using a bandsaw slices them into halves or smaller sizes, such as single portion ham steaks. Workers position a soft plastic pad over the bone, then bag the ham in plastic. The pad prevents the bone's sharp edges from ripping the package and destroying the airtight seal. They position each bag for vacuum sealing. From there, it's all automated. A vacuum chamber descends over each bag, sucking out the air and sealing the plastic. A robotic arm transfers the vacuum sealed ham to a conveyor belt, leading to a hot water bath. Each bag spends a mere five seconds in hot water, but that's enough to shrink the plastic tightly around the ham. Refrigerated, the ham stays fresh in its airtight package for three months. Store it in your freezer and you can ham it up for six months more. <laughs>